All right, welcome to October 2018 on Spray Paint Art Secrets. We've got some way cool stuff for you this month. Check out this painting with the cosmic city and the cars. All right, to do this, we're going to first lay down some paint that's going to be those buildings, and then we're going to move it around with some really crazy tools that come from working with clay and then we're going to use all kinds of crazy stuff like this napkin holder um, and all kinds of ladles and just weird stuff that i got from the dollar store to make uh, the uh, windows on all the buildings and of course we'll add some planets and then we'll add some really cool comets and i'm going to show you step by step how this is done so there's lots of great effects here imagine what you might do with something like this you know uh, these techniques can be used with spray paint art and there's no need to um, use toxic paints. There are water-based spray paint colors. Uh, I like to use Montana water-based 300. And uh, there's really great ways that you can learn how to improvise that are just useful no matter kind of what kind of painting that you do, whether you like to do acrylics or watercolors or oils. This can be actually a really good um, underpainting for oils because the oils and the spray paint blend really well. So in this, uh, we're going to explore some really cool tools using some sponges that you might get in the uh, drugstore to make that pine tree in kind of a magical way and there's all kinds of fun improvisational things if you're interested in learning a little bit about spray paint art for free go to spraypaintartsecrets.com and just put your name in the form and you'll get our free materials list and free videos and you can just really just start to learn and explore this is a really cool set of techniques. We're also going to do this um, winter painting with a castle and here I'm using something that you might use to clean your your pots and pans <laughs> to make the scratchy textures of these mountains and this castle and then I'm going to show you how to add how to add shadow and light using just really simple things. In this case we're just using a torn piece of poster board which is the same paper that we're painting on. You can do a lot with that. These are some really fun techniques and it's just really great to learn to improvise and do things on the fly. You know, kind of no matter what you do, like if you can add layers on top with air, it opens a lot of doors. Oh my god, and this one is so cool. This is like an eight minute painting, believe it or not. Can you imagine that that can be done in like eight minutes, but it can. Um, it's it's done making the paint really wet in very specific ways and dragging it just using your your newspaper and your brush and your inspiration to move it around and just create these very natural vibrant galaxies and uh, stars and lights in the universe I love this kind of painting so I'm going to show you how this is done, all the, all the details, the planet, the sweeping light of this galaxy, that, that very cool like black area that's liquidy and moving up into the bright sky, all these effects. And then we're going to do this painting of flowers, just, just these simple flowers. And again, this is another very quick painting that if you would like exploring some new areas and improvisation, this is another like eight minute painting. And we'll teach you how to do um, this kind of flower, but of course you can apply it to just all kinds of stuff. And you will be moving the paint around with air, but um, you can use any air source. You know, you can use an airbrush, or in this case I'm using like uh, something from the party store that's meant for blowing up balloons to blow the paint around. And so if you're curious about learning some of these techniques, come get a free lesson at spraypaintartsecrets.com. If you have a question, my name is Elisa Amor, and you can contact me at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. See you inside. Ciao.